Last week, Sam Altman declared a code red threat level midnight after OpenAI's lead in the AI race was shattered by the unexpected dominance of Google's Gemini 3. Just about everybody was ready to write off OpenAI as the Netscape of the 2020s, that is until yesterday when they dropped their answer to Gemini GPT 5.2, a model that once again moves the AI hype wheel back in favor of OpenAI. It's dominating all the trust me bro benchmarks and even beats Claude Opus 4.5 on software engineering and reasoning. The real flex, though, is its rise to the top of the ARC AGI benchmark. The ARC prize just verified a 390x efficiency improvement in one year from the O3 model to 5.2. That's not a typo, that's a model that's 390 times more efficient. In today's video, we'll find out if we finally reach the edge of the AGI threshold, or if this is just more smoke and mirrors to keep the AI hype train going into 2026. It is December 12, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. Artificial intelligence has already ruined my Christmas this year. It's, it's the most terrible time of the year. Thanks to this nightmarish commercial produced by the artificial food generation company McDonald's. The creators of this piece of crap you're watching tried to act like they prompt engineered a real work of art, but it was so universally hated, McDonald's was forced to pull it from the airwaves. Unfortunately, this AI slop content is only going to get worse, because OpenAI just inked a $1 billion deal with Disney to allow their iconic characters to appear in AI-generated photos and videos. And that's huge, because it means anybody can now generate their own custom Star Wars or Toy Story movie, and will be forced to use OpenAI's tech to do so. Very concerning, but speaking of concerning, prediction markets like Polymarket and Calshi somehow predicted that GPT 5.2 would be released yesterday. And by predicted, I mean OpenAI employees and other insiders found a new infinite money glitch because insider trading exists in a gray area in these markets. An obvious insider at Google made a million bucks this month, and in many cases, it's insider trading that makes these prediction markets so accurate. Very concerning, but now let's get back to GPT 5.2, and the thing everyone is talking about, its performance on the ARC AGI benchmark. But what even is ARC? It stands for Abstraction and Reasoning Corpus, and is designed to test whether a model can solve novel, unique problems it's never seen before. Problems that require pure reasoning instead of memorization. The problems are intentionally weird, low-data puzzles where brute force pattern matching fails. Regular humans can usually solve them after a few examples. What's weird, though, is most AI models completely faceplant. The important takeaway is that a model that scores well on ARC has the ability to generalize, instead of just acting like an autocomplete on steroids. And that's why OpenAI flexing on this chart is a much bigger deal than many of the other Trust Me Bro benchmarks. But for the average LLM user, it's becoming harder and harder to evaluate each new release. Like ChatGPT 5.2 is also supposedly much better at coding than before, and is supposed to have far fewer hallucinations, but I'm not sure I can even tell a difference. I'm happily using it to generate Svelte 5 code with an MCP server, but what I'm more concerned about is deploying my code somewhere reliable, like Railway, the sponsor of today's video. It's a cloud platform that lets you instantly host production-ready deployments and manage your entire infrastructure stack in one place. So instead of fighting with mystery YAML files and 25 different dashboards, you can spin up isolated environments in one click that will scale automatically as needed. And unlike other platforms that shall not be named, Railway only charges you for the resources you actually use, not what you provision, which saves over 65% on cloud costs. And developers love it because it gives you 50% faster build times while letting you spin up any service you need shockingly fast. They even have 1,800 different templates that let you deploy deploy any app or database with a single click. Sign up for free today at the link below and you'll get $20 in credits when you upgrade. This has been The Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.